Do you guys mind if I can just get a picture of your signs? Please? So. Hi. There you go. 4K. All right. Hey, I do appreciate you guys standing up for what you actually believe. You know, because that does take courage. So I really do appreciate that you would come out. And, and the, those that you did, did talk to us, thank you. You know, I appreciate that. And if you do want to see what we're passing out to all the kids that will take them, I'd be more than happy to give them to you so you can see what the arguments are. And that way you can at least combat the arguments or, you know, you got one? Okay. Well, that's not true. Like you can't murder her with your body. You can't speed. You can't speed in your car, right? Not doing something to my body. You can't take drugs. In the same vein as you can't take. You can't put heroin in your vein. I mean, you can. It's it's illegal. It's illegal. Right. But here's so the, the government can tell you that it's harmful. That is destructive to not. Well, only so is killing a baby. That's harmful to the baby. The baby is considered an independent life form when it can be removed from me and still live. Until then, as it is dependent upon me, it is part of my body and part of I understand my the law now, how it is now, or what the Supreme Court's ruling is. All I'm saying is, is that's wrong. Like, hit the Supreme Court um, said that it was okay to own black people and to rape black women and to, you know, murder black people. But they were wrong. The is, by Roe v. Wade, that is a step forward and this is about five steps back. Well, we shouldn't know people in... Under what circumstances is an abortion okay to you? Never. Never. never? Yeah, never. So if I'm going to die, that's fucking sick. Yeah, never. Because I don't believe you would actually die and an abortion would save you. I, I don't believe that. Tamar? What? What was it that happened with your mother? Oh. Because he's saying an abortion can't save a life. I'm no, sorry. what happens is, what happens is, is this. Doctors like will often ever. say have an abortion, but like C. Everest Coop, you can look up C. Everest Coop, okay? He was a surgeon general for the United States of America. He's also a pediatrician, so he delivers babies. But he said never has he ever seen an instance where saving the life of the mother, the only way to do that is to kill the baby. How many instances right. in which not, in what, look, look at history. Look, mm -hmm. you don't, not only have infant mortality rates, but maternal mortality rates. Right. Child is right. so often, it's so dangerous right. to have a child. Wait, I feel like it's impoverished. Right. Yeah. Especially if you are in an impoverished country where you cannot take care of that child, where that child will grow up impoverished without a family to take care of it. There's no option for adoption. What are you going to do? Are you going to have another mouth to feed when you can't even support yes, yourself? Yes, and yes. you and the child will both yes. end up dying. My mom had me at 16. My dad committed suicide. Okay? My mom could have aborted me. Life was life is good. It has value. It have is you important. The emotional drawback that happens on yes. people who get abortions. Yeah. Have you met and yes. sat down and yes. talked to women? Yes, I know Have you them personally. Have scarred and fucked up yes. they are Yes, yes, yeah, it's horrible. Is that not punishment enough? No, we want to keep them from being scarred and messed up. We want them to not have to go through that. We don't want them to have to live but with that. at the end of the day, it is their choice what they want to do. You don't have to get an abortion if you don't want one. Your wife right. doesn't have to That's get That's what they abortion. said. That's what the slave owners said. You don't have to have a slave if you don't want one. That's what they said. That's what they said. So, do you want? I, we could argue. All, all our arguments are in here. Okay. You're welcome. I know. Well, I appreciate you talking to me. I really do. I do, but at the end of the day, I don't think anyone has a right to say what anyone else no, says with right. their body when it does not cause harm to other people. It causes that harm to the baby. Look at that baby. Look at that baby right there. You tell me that's not a baby. Look at this right here. Oh. You tell me that. It's a life that could not exist without being within me. A one-year-old baby could not exist without somebody taking care of it. It does not require my body to live. The moment it can live without my body, they, it is an independent life form. They could take that. Is all right. So is that a baby? Is that a body? It's a body, but right it there. Is what about that one? What about that one? Look at that. That is a child at the point where actually I cannot say for sure because I do not want to know a point in. Uh, that could live outside the womb. That could. Yeah. Well, I can tell you, welcome. I am of the opinion that if the baby can be removed alive and given to family, I am actually for that. I am actually very pro-adoption. I uh, cannot have children of my own. I've adopted so I six kids. 
three, two sets of um, three foster kids. And their moms were like crack, and the one one family, and they didn't even have running water. Joyce, it's okay. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. Hear you. <laughs> um, but I mean, at the point where the child is still dependent on my body to live, I think it is still my body. It's still my body. Yeah. I have, rather than practicing it in so much black and white, I do see shades of gray. I don't know where, where the exception can be, but yeah. at the end of the day, I don't think it needs to be a government position. I think it's something that needs to be left up either to the state or to the individual. Let me pass out some of these handhelds to the people that want them. But my name's Todd. Nice to meet you. I'm Lauren. Hi. Nice to meet you too. Come on! 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 Come on